Hey, hey, everybody! It's Tuesday night. I got weird hair, y'all. I've been trying to fix it. You know what? My hair's always had a mind of its own, so why is tonight any different? I don't know. I don't know. I'm in camo. You may not be able to see me. Hmm. Let me go down to my desktop. Here we go. Boop! Oh, hey, Heather. I'm so glad you're here with us tonight. So this host code here, here's how it works. If your order is less than $150, you go on to my site, kathybow.stampinup.net. And it's Kathy with a K. Y'all know that. kathybow.stampinup.net. Don't be throwing out some comms. It's a net. kathybow.stampinup.net. You put in your order. You make sure you're shopping with me because y'all know what? Stampin' Up doesn't care. And then... When it asks you, do you have a host code, you put in this little code right here, y'all. Let's see, Nyoka. Let me just say, I will be broke when the new caddy comes. Girl, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. I placed I placed my pre-order, and I'm like already looking down the road to see if it's coming. I'm just saying. But see, earlier it said it's coming on Friday, and I'm like, oh my word. And then it says it's coming on Monday. So I'm hoping it comes tomorrow and just surprises everybody, right? Okay, first of all, this is an old stamp. This, I mean, an old punch. This is why y'all need to get it when it comes out, okay? Because we don't even have this anymore, okay? But let me show you what it does. It makes these cute little tabs that you can laminate and write index or something in a marker. Now, my marker, y'all... Hold on. It's it, it's the coolest marker. This is a Sharpie Ultra Fine Retractable. Ultra Fine, like that guy you knew in 10th grade, right? Okay. But this is retractable. Okay. Click. But guess what, y'all? Ah! The new catalog! I started to sing something different. It came out, Someday My Prince Will Come. I don't know. But, y'all, look at this cover. Have you ever seen a prettier cover? I know, mine is mine is shiny because, y'all, Office Max or whoever they are, they... <laughs> uh, let me just say this about our Office Max. They, have, they sell toilet paper but they don't put it in their bathrooms. That's all I'm going to say. That is, that's it. That's it. My, mm -hmm. That's it. All right. So <laughs> there's a whole story there that we're not even going to talk about. We're not, we're not, because I'm not that kind of girl. I'm not going to, you know, anyway, here it is. I love, look at the paper. It, get the shine off. There we go. It's like watercolor, y'all. Is that not beautiful? Look close because it's in there. Nyoka, I know, the retractable is my favoritist. Oh, look, could that be, could that be a die right there? Oh, poo. Let me do it upside down, and now you can see it without the shine. You see, there might be a die, and there might be that one there. Um, now, y'all, we have a retirement list that is off the chain, okay? Like, I have customers that are getting some very, very nice things at a very, very low price. So you need to go to kathybow.stampinup.what.net. Dot what? Okay, so tonight I'm going to teach you how to make that, that fancy fold card. And I'll show you the bones of it in case... <laughs> I might have cut this one up in case I totally blow it. I'll at least have something to go with, right? Okay. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to take an eight and a half. Yeah, the retirement list is huge. And I, I mean, I'm kind of sad because, you know, um, there's some things I didn't want to retire, but they're going to retire. And that's okay. It's all right. Nobody died. Um. So this is eight and a half. No, it's not either. This is 11 and this is eight and a half. I get that wrong every single time, but it's, it's close to being math. So y'all give me a break. So I'm going to cut the 11 inch side halfway to five and a half. This is how we almost always start a card. Okay. 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 
Now, when I can't find it, y'all say, it's over there on your right, because I know, I know what's going to happen. All right, so we've got, now we've got eight and a half by five and a half. All right? Okay. So now I'm going to go to the one inch mark right here. Boop. And I'm going to look down here. Mm -mm. Hold on. There we go. I'm going to look all the way down here and make sure that it's that it's lined up. You see this line? That's what gives it away right there, y'all, is the line. All right, one inch. Here we go. Here we go. I'm trying to think of anything that happened this week. Oh, I'll tell you something happened this week. Y'all, Ninja Man and I went out and we looked at the... We looked at the damage from the tornado that I told y'all about last week. And let me just say, I shouldn't have looked. Yeah. Okay, because I had a couple of days there that did that. I just, mm -mm. nope. Um, anxiety is real and all that stuff. We're not going to get into all that tonight, but I just want y'all to know, y'all, it's a thing. Okay, so let's get back to our card. I'm going in one inch. And then I'm going to go to one inch right here. I put I put um, a little piece of paper under my cutter thingy, all right? I just glued some paper there so you can see the numbers. And I'm going to go, let me go back out. Boop. I did it again. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay. Y'all, it's always it's always a, a challenge. All right, so I'm going to go from the one inch mark here and the one inch mark here, and I'm going to drag this bad boy down to five and a quarter. I'm making a slit in the cardstock. Okay, and now I'm going to go to four and a half. All right, I'm going to do it again. Uh oh, come back. I'm going down to, what did I say, five and a quarter? Five and a quarter, right there, okay? That's pretty much the only cutting we're going to do. Y'all see what I got now? Yeah, this this is not, not that bad at all. And hey, if you're watching and you have not commented yet, please do, so I'll know you're here. It doesn't cost a bit extra, but if you want to put a quarter in right on the side of your device, you just go right ahead. But I don't charge any extra for that. Okay, y'all, so this is the Simply Scored tool that I'd have to look and see. Let me check right quick and just see if we still have this. And I'll tell you why. Um, the other day, I was making some stuff, right? And I was just grabbed the first score. There it is, page 151. Um, I grabbed the first score tool that I came up with, and it was not this one, okay? Um here it is in the current catalog. All right, so you can still buy it. It will be in the new catalog as well. But I used one that I already had, and it is this Martha Stewart one right here. And no offense, Martha, but um, no. Okay, no. This is a product that does not work well, and I'm good at this. I mean, I'm not bragging. I'm not. I, it's just what I do, y'all. And this is a no. Mm -mm. No. So Martha needs to go back and, um, you know, shake off whatever caused her to design that and start over. Okay. So the Simply Scored has a little door back here that keeps all these little pointy things. And I went ahead and set them up. And what this wants us to do is we're going to call this the long side and we're going to call this the short side because hello one is long and one is short bing right okay and then we've got y'all know we've got these little slits in here right so we're going close to the little slits here and i'm going to go to okay i got a i've got a large end and a small end on this guy it comes with your score tool this is the small one and this is the large one a lot of people will spray their, their cardstock just gently with a little water. And I guess if I was in another situation, I might do that. You know, if I'm just playing crafting or whatever. But I really want this to turn out well, and I don't want it wet right now. So I'm going to use the small end. And you can also put wax paper down. It makes it, you know, slide better. Okay, I'm going one inch down to the slit. 
You can't see it, but I'll try and show you. Yeah, it's a little shiny. You can see a little bit there. I stopped right at the slit, okay? So then I'm going to take my little ruler here, and I'm going to put it right there at that one inch thing, right, right against this, just because I want to be sure that when I go... When I go down here, I'm also at one inch, okay? Right there. And I'm going to go up to the little score mark there. Okay? Um, there we go. See? So it's there. Do y'all hear that dog? He sounds like a little cat. He's going, ow, ow. He's so weird. Okay, let me see if I can do this right. Yes! Y'all, it's such a victory. Such a it's small, small, wonderful things that happen when I do it right. Okay, and then now we're scoring at two inches. Again, down to down to the little the little um slit. Alright? Then I'm gonna come over here with my little ruler. So I know it's at two inches. Now we're gonna go over here to the five and a quarter. Five and a quarter. That's right. Five and a quarter. Right here. Man, I hope this is right. Because if not, y'all, I've got another one cut out over there, but it ain't black. It's not going to be the right color. All right, here we go. Line him up. I think it's right. Uh-oh. It looks like it should be there. I think it should, y'all. Maybe I should do that again. Let's see. Yep. There we go. Yeah, it was in the correct place. Okay, five and a quarter. And then right here, five and a quarter. Whew, y'all, I need a nap. Okay, that was a lot. Okay, so now that we've done these edges, and if you if you look at how this is done, you kind of get a feel for what our scores are going to do. But we need this one right now, right? So I'm going to go to the, let's see, four and a quarter. Yes, I wrote it down. I have a cheat sheet. So, okay, here we go. Go down here between the slits. There's a groove. There, you got to get in the groove. I found the groove. Maybe and maybe not, but we'll see. We'll see. All right. Yes, Heather, technical terms. Yes. All right, so the, the, big, the big question here is, is it going to fold correctly? <gasps> and it is, y'all. I'm kind of fooling myself right now. I kind of think, you know, maybe I should do this for a whole living. Maybe I should be the official score border person for all the card stock ever. Maybe. But, you know, they're going to have to pay me a lot. I'm not taking just the first offer. I'm not. I'm going to wait and say, you know what? Other people are asking me to be the official score border person, and and maybe maybe I'm gonna want you know health insurance and a car. I'll need a company car, y'all. And and I ain't talking about some jalopy. When's the last time you heard the word jalopy? Okay, so here we go. We got our y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't do this for a living. Because I'd get bored, okay? So just tell everybody to just wait on that. All right. So here we got our little fold. Beep, beep, right? And by the way, again, if y'all are here and you haven't commented, let's do it. Let's comment because I need to know you're here. Okay, so now I'm going to trick it out. And we've got puppies. Puppies. Right here. Puppies, puppies. Okay, and y'all, okay, I had a challenge, and I put this, um, I put this on my Kathy Bohannon Creatively Blessed Facebook page, but y'all, I love this little puppy so much, and I got to get out my bum, 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 scary dental tool, because I want to point out, he's got water in one of these bowls. Do y'all see the water? Isn't that cute? He's got water. And then he's got food. Now, let me show you how I did his little kibble. Okay. I was trying to punch a hole. I don't even know what I was doing. And I was trying to use this itty-bitty. Here comes Martha Stewart again. It's her dang 
puncher room thing, but she did pretty good on this. And what I did, I did the punching, and then, hey, Laura, I'm glad you're here. Thank you for letting me know you're here. So then I opened this, y'all, the little mouth that holds all the stuff, and all these little dots fell out. So I was like, hey, those are colorful and fun, right? So I used this jewelry picker upper thingy. It's called a jewel, jewel picker, and I got it from Amazon.com, baby. Yes, it looks like Lady and the Tramp, doesn't it? It's so sweet. And it's made by Marvy, M-A-R-V-Y. They do make some pretty cool stuff, y'all. It's got like a little, like a little rubber kind of tip, okay? And it just picks things up. And then the big end picks things up, okay? So I just used that. And I picked up all those little pieces out of that, out of that hole puncher thing. And this is an itty bitty hole puncher, y'all. It's just got a little bitty thing. And I just stuck them in his, I, I put a little glue on there and just stuck them in his bowl, right? So the challenge was to use um, these, the, the gray color, the teal color, and the purple color. And this is Bermuda Bay, and this is, I want to say Smoky Slate. And this, I think, is Gorgeous Grape. I could be wrong, but y'all, it's close. And this is his floor, and these are his little puppy feet that he put on. Okay, so that was a really fun challenge, a really fun card to make. And now we're going to try and make one for y'all with this. Okay, um, silly me, I cut out another black piece to go under this, but I don't need it because it's on a black. Or should I do this? Hmm, should I do this on the gray one? <gasps> Maybe. Yeah, I like it on the gray. I think I will. I think I will. Okay, all right, so we'll use the gray. Because I'd already made one just in case I totally messed up the one, you know, live and in person. Okay, all right. So here we go. Now, this this piece here is going right here as kind of a focal piece, Okay. And I think I'm, well, I was going to cut a little piece off, but that could get a little crazy because then I start cutting off something else and something else. And then, you know, next thing we know, I'm back to folding again and looking for a job as the folder. We don't want that to happen. So I'm going to leave it like this. So this piece here is, let's see, I've got a little, I've got a little um, ruler down here at the bottom. You see my little ruler? This is three by three and a quarter. All right, so we're going to put that down. And yes, there's some writing on here, but that's because I needed to remember stuff. Okay, all right, please hold. Now, y'all be sure and write down this host code before it goes away. I mean, it could be in that secret indelible ink or whatever they call it, the kind that goes away. I think indelible is the kind that doesn't go away. Whatever, it's what spies use, y'all. You know, y'all know what spies use. All right, here we go could be that kind of ink or maybe it's not but y'all need to y'all need to write it down just in case just in case you want to cover all your bases right okay so we're going to put this piece on I love this paper and I've kind of been hoarding it as a matter of fact when I made this guy I was looking everywhere for this paper and I could not find it anywhere y'all anywhere so here we go but lo and behold, it's in my stash. And speaking of my stash, I want to show y'all how I did a little bit of organizing. Okay, now these pieces here, this is three by three quarters. So this became three and a quarter by one. Okay, you always want to go up just a quarter. And that makes it an eighth larger on all sides. Okay, now we have Willow Rose tonight. Oh, Teresa, that's so sweet. I'm going to have Phoebe and Wren on Thursday. So if y'all are going to watch Kathy Bowe's Crafting Show, and you might want to, you might not want to miss what's happening because um, that chandelier might make a guest appearance. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you missed the last Kathy Bowe's Crafting Show. All right, y'all, we do have to go in for a little trim right here. Just, just a wee, just a wee. We're going to take a little off the top. Just like the barber says, just a little off the top and a little off the bottom. Better do this one too, y'all. Let's see. Okay, we're going to take a little off. 
on the side right there. Oh dear. See how quick I did it? That's because I make decisions really fast because it's like, you know, you're going to jump in or you're not. Okay. So y'all, here we go. Boop. Okay. We're going to put, let me just get this other. Uh, yeah, I'm going to use my snail. Y'all know we don't carry this anymore, but, um, I still have a lot. So, oh, I've already glued that one down. Okay, then fine. I'll go ahead with this. Sorry, y'all. Decisions, decisions. There's a little pug right there. Just a little pug. So, yeah, what are y'all hoping for in the new catalog? Are you a paper person, a tools person? Do you like the sweets? Because, y'all, there are some sweets, some sweet sweets. And I'm going to say one word peach. That's all I'm going to say. The end colors are gorgeous. All right, y'all, we're going to fold this out. And we're going to put this guy right here. Okay. You see, there's, there's the fold here and the fold here. We're going to put it between this fold and this one right here. Okay. Um, I love new tools in, um, uh, paper crafting. Love the tools. But I also love the designer series paper. And I really enjoy um like like the um uh textured kind of stuff like this. I love that. It looks like kind of a brick. Love it. And I really love dyes and things that make me look more smarter. <laughs> I already know I'm ordering the hand pin suite. Yes, yes, yes. I think that is the one on my pre-order, Nyoka. I do believe. I do believe. Okay, y'all. My friend Barbara. My friend Barbara. Y'all need to learn this real quick. My friend Barbara, who was on here earlier. I don't know if she's still here. She suggested, and y'all, this is genius, genius. Okay, she suggested with the new colors, the new in colors, buy, and this is not an in color. This is... Uh, Calypso Coral. Buy the ink refill and the little stampin' blocks here. They're called stampin' spots. Uninked stampin' spots. And you ink up your stampin' spot and then you've got your, your ink colors and you didn't have to buy the big ones. Okay. Lisa, I think you said that as well. Or maybe I'm dreaming it, but I know that Barbara said it. Um, so yeah, that, that's just brilliant, y'all. It's just brilliant. Okay, so now we have our little card starting this way. Lisa likes paper. I do too. I do too. I am such a sucker. I will buy the paper and, and I will love the paper. It's, uh, I love it, love it. All right, I'm going to trim this guy down just a wee, just a wee bit. Okay, so I'm just going to take a little bit off of this. Boop. And see how we look. Oh, dear. That wasn't it. Oh, dear. <laughs> I took it off the wrong thing. Y'all, I knew I was going to do something like that. All right, hold on. I'm going to take more off. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We've got a little... See, I think I want it off the side, too. This is just so you can sign it. Okay? And let me see. Now, I believe it's going to need to go here, but let's see. Yes, it needs to go here. And I want a border around it so you can see what it is, okay? So now I've got my little my little puppy paw border. And now you can sign it, right? Okay. So I'm just going to put my glue on here. And y'all, I bet that bark emboss embossing folder is going to be the... Oh, I know it, right? I Nyoka, I have a list, girl. I have a list. And that, you know, y'all, I'll tell you the truth. With my pre-order, I had about $90 free. And that's that's not bad. That's not bad. About $90. And part of that was my performance during celebration, um, which, I mean, y'all, I'm, I'm not like, you know, a rock star. I'm just trying. I'm just, just the girl trying. Okay, trying. And most people who know me will say she's the most trying person I don't. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, um, what do we want to do there? Let me see. Oh, I know what we want to do. 
Um, 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 hope your day is a real treat. Always in your heart. So sorry for your loss. You know, I'm sorry, but I always need these kind of cards. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to make it a sad lost your puppy card. I know. I know. It's sad. But that's what we're going to do. Take this one off. Boop. Put it over there. Oh, can y'all even see what's going on? Good googly moogly, y'all. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna go like this. All right, I'm just positioning it on my thing, and you see, there's a there's like a a ruler thing here. I sometimes don't even notice it. Okay, um, I'm not saying you gotta have that in order to stamp and live a normal life. I'm saying I've got it on there, and sometimes I pay attention, and sometimes I don't. That's what. Oh, dear. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> These are just falling all around, y'all. Okay. And y'all know I got my hair cut, right? But it's just not doing anything right. It's not. I don't even know what's going on with it, y'all. I don't. I don't. Okay. Always in your heart. It's so sweet. Put that over there with my little, my little Beacon Brewery glass. Okay, let's see. What I want to do, this is going to be kind of kind of interesting. Let's try this. I gotta make sure it's dry. Okay. It might be dry. I should have I should have been a little more careful cutting it because it's just a wee bit cuckoo, right? All right, let's see. Okay, the length is good. Let's just cut it here too and see what happens. Oh dear y'all oh that's sweet that is sweet y'all it's just sweet oh my Elka, thank you you know what girl i was i was letting it grow out and then i realized i kept sticking it on top of my head and you know that that thing that we get to go through in life because you know we're of a certain age that that's been in the history books for a while but I'll tell you what, when I break out into a sweat, and it's not because I have to walk into Walmart, because I don't even do that. But when I break into a sweat, something's got to go. Got to go. But I'm also that grandma that walks around with a sweater on in the house. I, I know exactly where my sweater is 24-7. I have one for the car, and I have two for the house. Because one in the house has, a po has pockets. And everybody needs that, right? I don't even know if we're centered or what. I don't know. Okay, we're too far over. Please hold. I'm, I'm just trying to get this on here, y'all, so we can be cute as we can be. All right? All right. All right. Like it or not, that's where it's going. Whew. See? Isn't that sweet? And we can put some little some little stuff here, y'all. Like, I've got, I've got a couple of ideas here. All right. Let's look. Let's look right here. We're going to use this guy who's not looking at the camera because... He's sad, okay, because he was their puppy, and and he's gone, and it's very, very sad, and I, don't, I can't even, mm -mm, I can't even, but, um, you know, it happens. We love our, we love our puppies and our, our critters, we do, um, and we are so blessed with them, aren't we? But then, you know, sometimes... Sometimes we are left without them, and it's very sad. They're our family. But I need a card now and then, and usually I'm, I'm all broke up when somebody loses their pet, and I, and I just don't have a card, and I, don't, I can't make one because I'm, like, so sad, even though I probably never met the pet. But as Teresa knows, um, the paw prints would look good on the strip. Yes, where are the paw prints? Oh, 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 the ones in the... um. Yes, in the, you know what, I can do the hearts too. I can do paw prints and hearts. The ones in the um, die cuts, yes. Believe it or not, I have a system. I do. Y'all remember what I showed you the other day about putting another stamp on so that when you stamp it, you don't rock it. You know what I'm saying? So we're just going to ink up the hearts and we're just going to put them right there. Okay, so there's the hearts, like that. 
don't know why I can't do it. Okay, there's the hearts in red. And we are going to cut this little fella out. I'll show you. We're going to cut him out. And this set is carrying over to the new catalog. But I'll tell you this, the paper is not. So, y'all, if you want this adorable paper, y'all need to just stop what you're doing. Kathy Bow dot stampin' up dot what dot net. That's right. What what? Okay, there's his little die, and here are the little footprints. The paw prints, um, they're they're a little they're a little hard to put on, but I'm gonna give it a shot, y'all. Okay, and I'm just gonna run it through it. If y'all see something you shouldn't see, don't look. <laughs> I have on pants. I do. I have on pants. All right, so you see, I've got my little doggy right here. Come along, little doggy. And then, I really should, y'all. I should just go ahead. Oh, and look what I found at um, Office Max today or Office Depot or Office Store. Whatever. Y'all, I don't know what it's called. These are, they are... Um, sticky all over so they're perfect for masking things that i've shown y'all before been shown y'all before all right all right here we go y'all know i'm i'm not gonna stick it over my printed my little inked picture not gonna do it because i don't want it to stick to the ink all right this doesn't matter because it doesn't have to be anywhere special all right we're gonna put the top on and y'all, this is how your pet, your um, your shims are gonna look. They're gonna get beat up. Now I have a friend, y'all, and she uses just the um, they're kind of purple, I think. Um, the purple shims, maybe they're blue, and she uses that only for the top. And I think that's brilliant. I just think it's brilliant. So next time. I do that. I, I buy shims. I'm going to be sure to get a certain color just for the top one. So only the bottom will look terrible, right? Okay. He probably needs to be colored in. So let's do that in a minute. We're going to get him, give him a little color. I think he's going to be gray just to keep with the, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh dear. Okay. I'm using the little end and I'm taking this heart. Oh, y'all can't see. Please hold. Boop. Okay. And, all right. So I'm taking this little heart that came out of his yellow foots. And I'm going to put it on right here. Okay. Right there. Oops. I just want it near it. And then this one. And let me tell you, in this die here, the toes are different sizes. Trust me. Ask me how I know. Okay. So we're just going to move these off. We don't need those toes because those are kitty cat feet. We got puppy dog feet and kitty cat feet. And really and truly, I think I'm using a puppy dog foot. I mean a kitty cat foot. Y'all, that might be too much to do tonight. We'll see. I'm going to color him and show y'all, just show y'all some coloring, okay? All right. Oh, dear. I'm so sorry. Everything's so big. Hold on. Move over. Uh-oh. Here we go. Okay. I'm so sorry. Y'all know. Y'all know I get going. All right. So I'm just going to I'm gonna start with my darker gray and kind of come in. And this the ears will stay dark gray, darker gray. Now, this isn't the darkest, as you know. It's not the darkest. But, and I'm going to give him a red collar, y'all. Okay, and here we go. We're going to make sure that his little tufts are dark. And then we're going to go under here with some dark. We're going to go under here with some dark. And how about around here? Okay, and this is my official Copic marker education for y'all. I have no clue what I'm doing. All right. Okay, but it doesn't cost you a bit more to, to see how I do it, right? <laughs> okay, so now I'm just going to blend this in. My puppy dog, Mila, she has, you know those cow licks that I know when I was growing up, little boys had little cow licks. 
and it's just where the hair grows in a circle, kind of spins in a circle. My little Mila, she has two. She has one on either side. Like Frankenstein had screws. Mm -hmm. She's got those, and it's so cute, y'all. It's just so cute. Okay, we might need a little more blending right there. So let's just blend that out a little more so it just looks like a little shadow. We don't want it to, you know, be an actual line. Okay, and then under his little arm, his little puppy arm, there we go. All right, so, you know, is it perfect? Heck no. This is Kathy Bow. It's not perfect. It's just, it's just, you know, teaching y'all stuff that might be wrong. So try not to, you know, go into business or anything. All right, now we're going to make him a, we're going to make him a collar. And this is uh, cadmium red. Okay. Again, Copics, y'all know my story about, about the, um, alcohol markers. I had already invested in the alcohol markers before stamping up ever even birthed them. Okay. And, um, that, you know, that makes me sad that, you know, but it's the way it is. Now I wonder, oh dear, hold on. Oh, see, I can never do it twice in one, in one sitting. I think he needs a little black under him, y'all. I do. I do. Oh, and this is a great time to show you. I took, I had a bunch of scrap paper and I cut it all down. Okay. And then I made, I made little tabs, very vanilla, black, blues, reds, pinks, all that junk. Okay. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to grab a piece of black and I keep it right here under my desk. Um, my desk is an Ikea glass top desk that they don't even sell anymore. I've had it for a little while. I've had it for probably, I don't know, eight or 10 years. Yeah, I'm going to put him on here and just cut him out real quick. Oh, you know what I could do? Hang on. This will be a lot faster. Let's do it this way. Move over. Okay. Um, let me grab an oval. Please hold. Please hold. It's right here. It's not going to be hard to get unless it's not, but it should be right here. Okay. Yeah. Um, that's another thing, y'all. They are retiring a, uh, more than a couple. Where's my dog? Where'd my dog go? Here's my little dog. They are retiring more than a couple of dies. And those of us who really like stamping up dies are a little bit sideways over it. But you know what? Their CEO said, and her name is Sarah, in case you need to know that in order to sleep. Um, her name is Sarah. She said that, you know, sales weren't what they keep and what they don't keep, that kind of thing. And she said, um, she said, certain things will be back. So I'm keeping, I always keep all my dies in there. I keep my dies for the most part. There's my, there might be a couple that I haven't kept. Um, but this set here is stitched shapes dies. And, um, if you have not gotten these out, I'm pretty sure they're retiring. Um, but just, you know, check. Okay. There we go. See, we, we're going to put him like this so you could see him. Now we could, at this point, we could pop this up on Stampin' Dimensionals, all right? But I kind of think it kind of needs to just not have any more going on than is already going on, right? You know what I mean? You know, you know. I think that's what we need to do. I'm thinking about getting the dice. Yeah, Lisa, um, let me know. Um, we can we can talk about the ones that are that are leaving and... Y'all, there's some good ones that are leaving. But they said they'll be back, but I don't know. I don't know when. I know nothing. Okay, y'all. There we are. There's our sweet little card. I'm going to try and get these little puppy feet on here for y'all. Okay. Um, let's see. I got this. I got all the little toes. Let me get the toes out of here. Here we go. The little toes. And y'all. See the little stencil look? You can use it as a stencil if you want to. If you want to. I'll show you. I'll show you right quick. You just take this and 
Let's say you want a blue footprint. I don't know, maybe he's cold. Maybe it's because it was the only thing I had laying right here. And you just, like, you're crazy. You just go crazy over it, right? Looks like a silhouette. Yes, it does. Okay, and then when you pick it up, <laughs> it's alcoholic. Please help. <laughs> All right, y'all. That was alcoholic. I should have known better. All right, so we're just gonna we're just gonna do this, y'all. I'm using a pencil. It's a Ticonderonda Duba pencil. They're the best. But here you go. <laughs> there. <laughs> now that's a puppy foot, y'all. I'm telling you what. This is why I don't do this for a living. I would so be having to pay everybody back. All right. And now I've lost all my toes. I've lost everything. Here we go. Here we go. I don't even know where I put them. Come on. Here we go. Oh dear. You know what I could do is this. All right. So I'm gonna lay the I'm gonna lay the foot down. Right. Oops. I'm laying the foot down, y'all. And I'm putting a little glue, a little glue, a little glue, a little glue, a little glue. All right. Now I have no idea what's about to happen. But I will tell you this. You know what? I could just look. Mm. All right. Here we go. The heart goes upside down. We know that. Boop. And turn it just turn it just a wee bit. Just a wee. Use the blending brush, Nyoka. Yes. Stamp the paws. I don't have. It doesn't come with a paw stamp. But I've got a paw stamp. But it doesn't come with it. The set only comes with the paw dies. The paw dies. Okay. Okay, here we go. Y'all, it's getting hot in here. Okay, wait a minute. Turn him over. There's a right side and a wrong side to these toes. Who knew? All right, there we go. Here's one. Here we go. Here's another one. Here's another one. We're getting it, y'all. This is working. We're putting a little toe, a little, little toe right here. Hold on. Now I got to get another little toe right over here. Okay, y'all, it's hot in here. Okay, here we go. And I've got everything's remote, y'all. I can turn my fan on by remote, but guess what? The remote is part of my phone, which is helping me record. <sighs> Y'all. Okay. I'm going to try it. Oh, poop. Y'all, I can never do it twice. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Shall we observe a moment of silence? Probably not, but we can try. This is our card tonight. <laughs> we got a sweet little always in your heart. So sorry for your loss. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. Okay, and then the back, you know, you can sign. You can do whatever you want to. And then, of course, when you open it, here's a little place to, to write something. And you could, you could take your puppy stamp wherever he went. I don't even know. Oh, he's over here. No, he's not. I have no idea where he went. Oh, here he is. You can take your little puppy stamp. Let me just show you one thing real quick. Y'all know I've shown you so many times about how to um, stamp with um, stamping off and then back on. So let's just say you want to do that to make him, make him kind of faded in the background. I think this will be cute. I'm going to do it on the card. We're going to ink him up and we're going to stamp off twice. One two so that we barely let's look at it here first we barely have any yeah i like that okay we're gonna go stamp one stamp two and then the third one is right here there and then you can write over it right how about that y'all i'm not even kidding it's hot in here I, yeah i don't know if you can see me because i'm wearing camo but, um, y'all, I went by the Dollar Tree today, and this lady walked up to me, and she said, you need my mask, because I have on camo leggings and camo shirt, and she had on a camo mask, and I had on, like, a, not a camo hat, but, you know, the, the camo color hat, and, um, you know, but, of course, we didn't swap masks. Anyway, thank you guys for hanging out, and if you've been here and you didn't get a chance to comment, just say, hey, hey, thank you, Nyoka. And I will post this card on Kathy Bohannon Creatively Blessed so y'all can see it. And um, 
And that's, that's that. I'm going to also post a link to whoever made this card, and I got it off of her YouTube channel. So y'all can get the dimensions and all that, okay? Please do check out my um, Stampin' Up! page, kathybow.stampinup.net, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank y'all, God bless, and love you. Toodles!